Louisiana back in the building. What's going on, Highway Heidi? What's going on, ma'am? Happy New Year, first of all. Happy New Year. Happy Happy Thanksgiving. Merry (laughs) Christmas. And Happy New Year. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. I said thank you. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. So, Highway Heidi, you've been you've been a little bit active on uh, TikTok as of late. What what what's 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 going on with the with the surge of uh, of the what's what's going on with the surge of creativity on TikTok for you now? Well, you know, lately I've been trying to you know just make sure I give good information information and maybe doing a little bit more on uh, showing my audience a little bit more on things that I could do, like maintenance things on my truck. Well, that's what I've been up to. Okay, okay. Now, Highway Heidi, I, I, I've seen one of the videos you you would you you was DJing. So you you a DJ? What's what what you 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 rocking parties? What's 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 that? <laughs> Say it like this. I, I'm the jack of all trades. I wear many hats. I'm a DJ. I'm a truck driver. Uh, I'm a friend. I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm many things. I'm just, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I DJ from time to time. First of all, my old days. What I like to do. I love music. So you, 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 you slick on the turntables. I can't say I'm slick. This ain't work in progress. Let's just put it like that. Work in progress. Okay. Okay. Have you, ha- have you done any clubs or anything like that? Or is this is just a hobby at the house? There you go. There you go. Hobby at the house. Nothing big, just small, you know. Doing my own thing. I've always liked music. So, you know, sometimes from time to time, I like to turn up. Okay. So what what, what kind of controller you got? You you got the new mark? Okay. <laughs> you, you, you're taking me too fast. You did. I did say I'm low key, right? I know a little bit about the controllers. But, yeah, I... I, okay. I, I I tried my hand at 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 DJing. Okay. Didn't work out for me. Oh, because I'm not a DJ, and I don't. Okay. So you talking about controllers and all of this? All I know is I put my music on through my phone, and that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? But hey, um, if I could be a DJ, I would love to rock out. You know. All right. So, Highway Heidi, man, you had an interesting story on on one of your TikToks, as well as your follow up. So I would like for you to tell the story because it was, it's it's very concerning hearing that somebody with with high blood pressure pulled off on the side of the road and 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 literally passed out in the truck. Tell us the story of what actually happened. Yeah. Don Corleone. I need a man who has powerful friends. I need a million dollars in cash. I need Don Corleone, those politicians that you carry in your pocket, like so many nickels and dimes. Okay, she's a, a former co-worker, like I mentioned on my video. And so she called me, and she was so upset and, you know, crying and all of that. And I'm, like, trying to console her, but really didn't know what was going on. And she finally told me everything. And I was just, I was just flabbergasted. I was just so concerned. She said she was on the side of the road in Mississippi for three days. And um, I guess a resident in the area, or maybe a passing vehicle, saw the truck that was sitting there for a while, so they did call the police. The police got there, broke into the truck, and called the paramedics. And they took a blood pressure. Blood pressure was off the chart. You know, it was very high. I can't remember the exact numbers now, but they were in three digits, top and bottom. And so uh, one thing that is really sad is, according to her, she didn't want to go to the hospital because of injuries, you know? And so that. That's just a whole nother topic right there. You know, being a driver out here, you got to have some insurance. And so she refused to care. And so she had to sign a waiver from the paramedics saying that she refused the service, you know, so they wouldn't be liable that could possibly happen to her. On top of that, her job, the job, which I can understand now that, you know, once I practice everything, it is a liability for a driver to be in a vehicle, commercial vehicle, under those medical conditions. But the thing I didn't like is that they put her out the truck. And so they put her out the truck and the paramedic, well, let me back up a little bit. They did call the company and said that the driver was on the side of the road. The company at that point said they wanted her out the truck. The police and the paramedic said, like, we can't put the sick. That particular company didn't care. They didn't give a care about this woman having a medical emergency on the side of the road. And it's free. It was at 19. 
So one of the officers was kind enough to get her a room. So she stayed at the room, and then eventually she did give me an update. That's why I gave the audience an update. She did make it home. The company will pick her up in the truck because she lived in Texas. Walked them back. She did go to the doctor and uh, following up with the doctor in the hopes to get on bed and maybe see, you know, legal, you know, patients. So it was just, it was just a lot to document in that one story, you know. So that's why I shared it with my audience because first of all, we, you know, happening is to be that ruthless like that, like that, and we out here sacrificing daily over this place, you know. So yeah. That kid's name was Mo Green, and the city he invented was Las Vegas. Man, this is so much to un um Where where do I where do I start? Uh, uh, High blood pressure, there ain't nothing to play with. And why wouldn't she want to go to the hospital to get checked out? I understand you don't have insurance, and of course that is a whole nother topic of discussion. But still, they if you go to the hospital, they still gonna have to provide you with medical care. And and high blood pressure is just that. She could have stroked out, she could have had a heart attack we could have had another situation of 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 this past a bynum driver that that passed in this truck maybe maybe because of health complications but but why 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 she didn't why she didn't want the medical care i mean i i know what i mean i understand the insurance but still why right so that's what that that was my concern because at the end of the day bill was going to be there but your health, and you only got one earn and one turn in this thing, you're not going to have a second go around. So if it was because of money or medical, I mean, not having insurance, that's the least thing you should worry about in that kind of circumstance. You know, blood pressure, having high blood pressure is a solid killer, killer anyway. And like, like she mentioned to me, she don't even remember how she pulled the truck over. See, that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, I mean, you, you, so she literally passed out after af, after she she pulled the truck over and and you said she'd been there for three whole days that's what she said she said she was there for three whole days i don't know how she determined that but that was her story and i'm like oh my gosh you know on the side of the road for that long in a cold truck i don't know if the truck was running or if it was off but it's just it's just a lot <laughs> it's definitely a lot so so being so she's on the side of the road and the only and and the only person or persons that that knew she was there was the person that came over to do to do a check and they was the one that called the police but what about the company i mean your your truck is sitting on the side of the road for three days you you don't see that exactly you know what I, it was just so much of when she was telling me the story i couldn't even I didn't even get to that point. That's a good question because the truck and trailer has felt felt like on it, you know. And so I don't know. I think she said she it was a long run. She did mention she had just picked up that load and she was headed. It was like a two day travel. I do know that, but still. See, let me just say this: my company, right? My my boss, mm -hmm. my my boss, he knows where his trust is at. Like he. He can zoom down and 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 be like, okay, you're parked right here. You're at such and such. It ain't no way that you're going to go. It, it ain't no way that you're going to go without him not knowing where his truck is at. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So being, exactly. being on the road, on the side of the road at that for three days and the company – not send the police for a wellness check. I don't know, man. I, I don't know because my my company definitely would. They would probably call me up, and if I don't answer the phone or something like that, then yeah, they're gonna they're gonna send they're gonna send somebody to come and check on the truck. Hey, my my driver is on highway such and such. That's how he can pin that. That's how much he can pinpoint it, bro. Like he could, he's at mile marker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So exactly, he, my company would be like, he's at mile marker, such and such. Can you go and do a wellness check? 
So you mean to tell me that she been on the road for three days and and the only and the only person that came was somebody somebody that just noticed the truck that was on the road for three days? This is three, four right. days. Right. So that says a lot about the company. That says a lot about the company. And on top of that, all they were concerned about is getting that that um that right to the destination. That was it. No concern on her. Well, and even to this day, they didn't even pay her. Yeah, but you even know, this is crazy. But even it, 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 if if that was the case, highway, then then they should have had somebody to do a wellness check on her within the first couple of days if if the freight was important i mean if if she wasn't important enough to to call and find out what's going on and and that freight was important then yeah because i i would assume that hey this is three days the load is probably late and the and and the, and the receiver is probably calling them up and being like hey we haven't gotten the freight bruh like what's going on I, oh man, I, exactly. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I mean, this company, like I said, it's it's crazy on all fronts that, that that this yeah. company, literally, didn't check on your, didn't check on the driver for three whole days, and anything yeah, like. No, no, no. I was just gonna say because one thing that she did tell me that it was just so bad how the company was doing her that the officer. And the paramedic, they videotaped the whole thing. So they wanted to make sure she got some justice behind that. So, okay, so they come, they get her out, they take care of her. She refused to go to the hospital, which I think that she should have went to the hospital. So at that time, they are, they are on the phone with, with the company, and, and the company is is telling them that they don't want her back in the truck? I said that I would see you because I heard that you were a serious man to be treated with respect. Yes, exactly, exactly. They were all on the all. On, she heard everything. She heard them talking. She was, you know, conscious that she could hear them. The police and the paramedics arguing with the company that she works for, telling telling them, telling her that, man, we do you understand the you know the severity of the driver? This company, this, this lady is a female, didn't have no care in the world. All she wanted was her keys. She wanted her to put her, get put out the truck and get the keys. So after all of that, so I'm going to say she didn't get back on the truck. What did they do? They just they just took her to a hotel? What what happened after that? Okay, after that, she said that the officer was so, it felt so bad for her that he volunteered to get her a room. He took her to the hotel. And she stayed at the hotel. Where was this in in conjunction to where she stayed? Because basically, they just stranded her. Yes. Uh, the incident happened in Mississippi. She lives in Texas. Houston. She lives in Houston, Texas. Even after saying, hey, I'll go to my doctor when I get back to Houston or whatever, the company wouldn't even let her get back home? No. Well, they sent a driver. I guess maybe they thought about it and had some kind of... I don't know, but after uh, all I know, because I don't want to add on to the story, all I know is a driver, maybe two, I think she said two drivers up to get the truck and one to take the load and the one, she rolled with one of the drivers back. They took her back home, back to Texas. Okay, I, okay. Well, hand clap to the company for at least doing that, getting her back home, but, but yeah, that's it's still a head scratcher. Like you, you was going to actually leave me stranded though. Like you, you told the officer, don't even let me back in the truck. Like you just terminated me for you. You turn. So basically if I'm hearing this right, she got terminated for, for, for a health situation. And I, I ain't that, a, ain't that illegal or something like that? Ain't that like a EEOC type of deal? Exactly. That's why the officer recorded and the paramedics recorded, and they told her to make sure she gets some legal advice, advice, and they would help her because they said that was just so cold because it was freezing that night. She stranded, and no money. I think she said she didn't have any money because she had just started a job. It just, it just goes on and on and on. So, yeah, pretty much t- terminated her 
for having a medical emergency. Wow, man, that's 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 a lot. That's a lot in the package right there. Listen, I, I I'm glad she's back home. But I just want drivers to know to, to use this as a teachable moment, man. And I keep stressing the fact that you guys shouldn't always put some money up. I, I don't get fifty dollars here, a hundred dollars there, man, because it's it's, it's never is it it, it 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 could just happen at a blink of an eye that you you're gonna need to you're gonna need to get yourself home. You, you should never rely on the company for anything except a paycheck. And out of that paycheck, you should save some money out of it. You should, you should never be, you, you should never be, you, you should never be without money. Exactly. Exactly. You, 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 exactly. And I, I keep, I let people know you need the essentials. You need a, you need a credit card and, and some money. Credit card, so you can at least rent a car, and you can get a credit right. card. You you can get a credit card these days. They throwing credit cards right. at people now, so you ain't ain't no reason why you shouldn't have a credit card. Exactly, exactly, and and never ever if you have a medical emergency on the side of the road, the last thing you should worry about is money. Just make sure you get the help. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, I think so. You you said her blood pressure was what now? It was two hundred over what? I believe I think it was like two thirty two over one seventy something. It was like Gee. out of the chart. Bro, I'm I'm surprised she she survived that long. No, right? You know, I don't know. It just you know, it just it's just it was just bad. You know, it, you know, she's telling me the story. I'm just about to bawl my eyes out because it was just so she was crying. It was just a mess. I must say no to you. And I'll give you my reasons. It's true, I have a lot of friends in politics. But they wouldn't be friendly very long if they knew my business was drugs instead of gambling, which they regard as a, a harmless vice. But drugs is a dirty business. Three days that she was out there, out of the three days, she wasn't able to, well, I, I guess she was able to get in contact, well, wait, did she get in contact with you before or after? Her or her no, dilemma. After. So this was all after. after. Whole, yes, when she got back home. When she got back home, and then she's like, I haven't heard from you. Let me tell you what's been going on. And then she just went into it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know? Yeah, it was a wait. It was like maybe two days, two days after the, the situation. Wow. So she didn't, so mm -hmm. do she got family? Well, she do have family, but they're not in Texas. They have a daughter, a son, and no family in Texas, I believe. Okay, with the, okay, so with the exception of no family in Texas, but she had family. They, the family didn't didn't check up on her. I mean, like my mom's called me just about every day. I, I mean, she she I called me. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm 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 sitting here like I look at my phone. I'll be like, hey mom, hey where you at? Uh, I'm in Illinois right now. Oh, okay, okay. Well. I'm just sitting here watching some TV and just making sure I'm checking up on you. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. So she <laughs> she didn't have no she didn't have no 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 family or nothing like that to like I mean her son daughter I mean I understand they they not in Texas but still call especially if her um, if, if she's if she has high blood pressure. Well, I don't know. We really didn't get into that because, like you said, there's so much to the story that. I didn't even touch that for it because I'm just still trying to help up, map up everything else. You know, I've given her information from other drivers, other drivers who reached out to me. Shout out to those drivers on DM, on TikTok. They reached out to me. But everyone was so concerned to make sure she had another job lead. I got insurance information for her. So we just, you know, went into trying to fix that part. Didn't even think about, you know, who's calling who as far as checking. I feel like right now, I feel like we should have, like, a lot of people don't have family. And sometimes you be out here and we need somewhere. I mean, everybody don't have a CD in their truck. I don't. But there are some drivers out here who don't have people who to talk to regularly. Thank God I have a couple of people who check on me every day, all day. I'm going in to take a nap. When I wake, if the money's on the table, I'll know I have a partner. If it isn't, I'll know I don't. I, I, I stress this 
as well. I mean, if drivers need somebody to talk to, I mean, always have have some type of connection to somebody, somebody that 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 you care about or something like that to at least to keep to keep up with you because, I mean, three days on the road and nobody nobody know that something was wrong with you uh, except for a concerned citizen that noticed the truck been sitting there for three days so shout out to that concerned citizen but still i mean right. she i mean wow yeah yeah, now I don't know because we didn't really talk about that. So I really don't want to say if no one told her because they could have because I didn't even touch that part. You know, but she did, she did have family or whatever, but it was just so much I'm, I'm concerned. I was more concerned about all the other things she was telling me at that time. But I didn't even ask about who was calling, but I'm pretty sure her, her children and stuff check on her pretty regularly. So I'm not, I'm pretty sure of that. So, but yeah. <laughs> So let's talk about this company, man. That's that's crazy. Like, literally putting her out of the truck. Mm-hmm. That's Mm-mm-mm. that's wild. So is this like a is this like a a small company? Is was it a mega carrier or what? What, what do you know about the company? It is a small company. They don't have many drivers. I think she told me maybe fourteen drivers. So it is a small company, but uh, yeah, that's all I know. I don't, I know the name of the company. I didn't disclose that information, but uh, I do know it's a small company. Is it a black ops company or, or no? No. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, that that does say something about the company that you that your truck been on the road for for three days and you 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 didn't send nobody out there for a wellness check and then when somebody go well, out there then when when the police do eventually show up for a wellness check you're going to tell you're going to tell them to, to to put her out of the truck so and yeah, take the keys and take the keys <laughs> yes that's ruthless that's just heartless you know so yeah it's just, yeah, yeah so and what so. So with that part of the story right there, is she looking into looking into getting a lawyer or something like that? Oh yeah, she is. She's she. That's what she mentioned to me. Actually, when she made it in and got you know went to the doctor and settled down because you know from all of that trauma, uh, she did reach out to several lawyers and and she, well, she is doing that. All right. Well, I hope everything works out in her in her favor for that because I. I I think that's kind of illegal. I, I really think it's an EEOC situation. I I, I really think it's that. Yeah. I mean, how are you gonna fire some? How are you gonna terminate somebody that that literally had a health a health crisis? I I don't know. Right. Well, well, I, well. I'm glad she's all right. Is she looking working anywhere else, or what's her status now? Okay, her status right now is. Basically, I told her, look, you just need to just get your thoughts together. The first thing first, you get yourself well, you know. You know, at the end of the day, people have families out here, and no one needs a driver that's not feeling well or sick behind the wheel. So, you know, go to the doctor, which she did. I, I haven't followed up with her as far as what, you know, what, what happened with the blood pressure or nothing. And then I told her, you know, so she came to me needing a job because, of course, she got fired. So um, I gave her a couple of leads, but she's, you know, looking for a job right now. All right. All right. Okay. Well, let her know that uh lockout men from the from the recruiter call channel have her in his prayers. And uh, and yeah, man, hopefully this is like a teachable moment for people to start taking start not taking better care, but start looking into your to your health a little bit more tighter. 2024, we all getting older. It's we we already know that some of these companies, some of these companies is just not gigging with us like they used to. Right, right, exactly. Um, your health is your wealth, and that's just the bottom line. You come before any freight and, and never just push yourself to the point of driving a truck and you're not feeling well. Fuck it. Uh, in too deep like Omar. 
Make me wanna track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy, bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.